Hi everyone, I'm so glad you're here with me because I have a really fun craft for us to make at home. Yesterday we read this book, The Legend of Spookly the Square Pumpkin. And we learned all about some different shapes and kind of what pumpkins look like. Today we're going to make our own pumpkins. Hmm, but what is that called? What is a pumpkin called when we put a face on it or carve a face in it? It's called a jack-o'-lantern. Nice job. So today we're going to turn our pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns. All right, my friends. Yesterday, when we read Spookly, we saw at the end of the book, and I'll show you, that all of the pumpkins grew into different shapes, different sizes, and different colors. But usually pumpkins are orange. So Miss Story picked an orange piece of paper to make her pumpkin with. But if you don't have orange at home, or you wanna make a different color pumpkin, like in Spookly, you can pick any color you want. And just like in Spookly, not only were they different colors, they were different shapes too, right? Spookly was a square. What were some other shaped pumpkins we saw? You got it. We saw triangle pumpkins, rectangles, and even ovals. There were so many different shaped pumpkins. So after you get your piece of paper, I need you to get a marker and draw a pumpkin shape. You might need a grown-up to help you, and that's okay. I picked a circle for my pumpkin, and so I drew a circle on my paper. But remember, if you want to make a spookly pumpkin, you can make it a different shape. Ask a grown-up to help you if you need help. Next, you need some black paper, or again, any color you have at home. And I want you to cut out some shapes, because we know what jack-o'-lanterns look like. We've looked at some pictures. This shape is a, do you see it? Triangle. I have a triangle. I even cut out some, oops, squares. I have little squares. Even a rectangle. Here's another one. And I even made an oval. This will probably be for my leaf. You can make it if you want. But you can cut out any shapes you want to make your jack-o'-lantern face. So that means you'll also need some scissors and also a glue stick. And Miss Story forgot hers. Let me get my glue stick. Here we go, because after we cut out all these shapes, we need to glue them to our paper. All right, I'm gonna show you how we finish this activity. Ready? Here is the pumpkin. Here it is. I'm gonna start making a face. Hmm, I know a face has two eyes, so I'm gonna put two eyes on my pumpkin. I'm gonna use the triangle shape for eyes. I wonder what shape you will use. You can make any shape you want for the eyes. There are two eyes. Hmm, what else is on a face? A nose, nice job. Pick a shape, here are all my shapes, for your nose. I'm gonna use a triangle for my jack-o'-lantern's nose. You can pick a different shape. Hmm, what else is on a face? A mouth. I need to give my jack-o'-lantern a mouth. I'm going to use the little squares to make a mouth. And sometimes jack-o'-lanterns have, ooh, like scary smiles or maybe a, a scary looking face. But I want my pumpkin to have a smile. So I'm going to use the squares to make a smile like my pumpkin is smiling at me. Oh, I love my jack-o'-lantern so far. I think it looks great and I'm working really hard and trying my best to glue and cut. Talk about the shapes you're using. 
when you're gluing them. Oh my goodness, I wonder how many squares I have. Maybe I can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, I used so many squares. All right, I'm ready to add some more details. I'm gonna add a rectangle shape for a stem. Remember friends, your jack-o'-lantern does not have to look like Miss Stories. It should look different because we're all making different jack-o'-lanterns. And last, I'm gonna add a little leaf for this kind of on the stem because we know pumpkins grow on vines, right? They have those big leaves on them. So I add an oval shape to my jack-o'-lantern. All right, my friends, here it is. I'm gonna hold it up for you. I am finished. Here is my pumpkin, my jack-o'-lantern face. When you're all done, send me a picture of your jack-o'-lantern. Have fun cutting out the different shapes and making your own jack-o'-lantern. I'll see everyone soon. Bye, friends.